Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Hey, today we're going to talk about the different types of tripod. Okay, as far as tripods, this is a normal tripod. What you usually use. I've had that one for a while. As you can see, it looks old. And of course, there's that tripod from GoPro. I just recently purchased a Gorilla Pod. And this is a tripod that I've used for a little while from UB Size. And I'm going to tell you why not to buy this and why I had to buy this. And I recommend go ahead and buy in a Gorilla Pod because this tripod right here is of no use to me now. Why is that? Because I didn't really do anything with it or to it. I actually used this multiple times in the gym. And then one day, as I was removing my GoPro from it, I noticed there was a crack on the base of the tripod. And eventually, the piece that locks this ball into place fell out. And I actually don't know where it is now at this point. So you can't lock it in place now. As you can see right there. It's absolutely just toast. I purchased a replacement ball, like a ball head, but I found out that this is not removable, even if it is, because there is a bolt right there and it's hard to remove. I tried to remove it, but in the process, I cracked the base of this thing right here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a crack right there. So it's a total loss and a POS. But then again, what do you get for $15? So, why so many tripods, you would ask? Well, if you're into blogging or vlogging, you definitely need to have multiple platforms that you can use so that you can stabilize your cameras. Uh, I use a different camera than this. This is a D3100. And I use this mainly for pictures, but I do have another camera, but I'm not gonna reveal that because it's supposed to be my birthday present. So. I purchased something that I can use specifically for vlogging. Uh, but if you have something like this, you don't want to be holding it. You don't want to be holding it like this uh, because it's limited to what you need it for. Um, you need some kind of a stabilized platform to be able to uh, take great pictures and also videos so that uh, you're not moving it around too much. Now. You can use a tripod for a lot of things uh, and a lot of uh, tools that you need for your vlogging. Like I said, this one right here, I've used for when I go to the gym and I can wrap this to different you know, um, angles in the gym and get videos of myself without asking somebody else to hold it for me. But, but this one didn't last long, so I was forced to by a gorilla pod. This is the 3K kit. I'm gonna open it up to see how I can set my camera up in here uh, and I'll show you how that's done. So by the way, this is a great tool as well. This is a GoPro stand for my session. Uh, I've used this many, many times, traveled with it, fits in my pocket, really cool. The only thing is that it's only an even surface. So the 3K kit is out, it looks pretty cool. It has a built-in leveler where you can uh, level level it if you want to put it down and see where you know want to level it, but flexible legs, of course. This is the Joby Gorilla Pod, and I'm excited to use it. Uh, and I will do further review down the line in a couple of weeks to see how it holds up. In the meantime, let's see how she fits in this mock-up camera. Okay. 
Seems pretty easy. You know, I'm stepping back a little bit here so you can see me, but this is how it's gonna look like if I am using it with my other camera. Pretty cool, I think, right? So, it's not bad at all. Pretty light, I can talk to it. Yeah, I'm very excited. So, I can probably bring this to the gym, wrap it up to the arms, to the, uh, wrap it up to the bars and have different angles and, and then I can use it for the gym as well. Here's my lesson. Buy something quality right off the bat. That's always been my rule. I don't know why I didn't follow it. So, I suffered. All right, thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below to let me know what, you, what else you want me to talk about.